Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. I'm here with my partner Raman Gill. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling shy to say hi to our audience. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. <laughs> no I'm more, no say. doing it again. Oh, this so. is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut. No cut. <laughs> yes, cut. I'll kill you if you don't cut it. <laughs> Raman, you know, the biggest common question I get is how do you find this great deals? Well, I would say it was not a great deal when we found it, when we came here to see it, but we definitely turned it into one. Yeah. So, in this video, we're going to share about how we found this and how we turned it into a great deal, how much we purchased for it, how much renovations, you know, how much money we put into this renovations and what is the projected value of this property after repair value, what's the projected cash flow, all those details in this video. So stay tuned. So guys, again, we are back talking about this ADO project. Probably if you don't know what's this ADO project, we made a couple of videos already about showing, you know, before and after renovations and talking about some challenges. Check out those videos if you haven't. And in this video, like I mentioned, you know, we'll go over the numbers and you know why it became actually a great deal for us, but we didn't purchase as a great deal. I would let you start with this Ramon. <laughs> How much we bought it for and what were we thinking when we bought it? Well, so we definitely bought it for like more than what we usually <laughs> buy the properties for. And if you remember, we came here to yeah. see the property. You were yeah. my realtor. Yeah. And uh, we really loved the property. And then it has a lot of potential because of the extra lot right next to the yeah. house. And uh, I just wanted to sever that lot. And as we were already talking about, like, you know, Some, buying a lot. New construction. Yeah, yeah. And doing new construction. Yeah. So I think this was, this was a perfect opportunity for both of us. And yeah. that's why I think we ended up going together and so buying it honestly this was actually like not a great deal when we purchased because it listed for 349 yes. and we literally paid 200,000 over asking we we made an offer for 555 555 dollars there were 18 or 19 offers and of course because we paid that high no conditions we win and here's what we were thinking right like the biggest thing like raman mentioned for us like we were doing all best case scenario worst, worst case, case scenario. scenario so we looked at this like you know not every investor thinks out of the box only few think okay what can we do with this how can we make the best use of the existing property yes. so we came up with like you know the worst case scenario we have a main floor unit we can add a second unit in the basement and add a third unit in the extra wide lot we have with the lot size we have it's like 30 133 by 112 yes. so with the lot we can almost build a thousand square feet adu detached and thousand square feet in the basement so we have three units and plus already existing 1100 square feet garage yeah and and not to mention the location is you cannot find a better location yeah. than this one it's like a prime south winter yeah. location and it's in very much in demand from rental or like you know for yeah. seller perspective too tons of potential in this property and yes the pro it was in a worse condition ever but it, it the it's very spacious tons yeah. of sunlight four bedrooms and a huge kitchen huge living area so when we saw this we couldn't let yeah. it go yeah literally like i came to show her the property but after seeing this and our discussion i'm like why don't we do it together exactly <laughs> so it was like with yeah, you, so, it's gonna be a deal yeah but i can even then we don't know how much we're gonna spend right like this it sounds great adding a unit down adding a unit outside the cost it's a lot of cash up front so to start with like we paid 555 right for that because it's in a rough shape and everything was dated and on top of it it is it was not in a livable space livable condition yes so we couldn't get traditional mortgage we had to go for b lender so our interest rate was a little bit more and we put 25 percent down and plus the renovation so just right now we haven't done with the third unit yet just for the main floor and the lower, we almost spent two hundred and five thousand dollars. Yes, we spent Sink it in. <laughs> little bit over. Uh, but uh, having said that, I don't think we spent a lot of over um, on this house. This house is like 
larger than usual yep. three, it's almost three bedroom <laughs> yeah the extra large three bedroom bungalows which you see like yep. this one is like actually four bedroom and you can turn it into five bedroom if you want to <laughs> yeah. but it still has a space plus because of the covid the prices like rise like too much so that's why we ended up spending more money yeah but still with that much money we spent we still like more than thousand dollar cash flow yeah. on this property but so, again you know look at this way well before we could go into too much into the cash flow and all so like i was mentioning earlier the strategy right the worst case scenario we were talking about spending this 200000 in the just house another 200000 for the adu so we need 400000 cash plus down payment yes. that's another approximately 25% of 555 mm -hmm. now i lost sight i, I got to pull my phone to <laughs> tell you the exact number there it was almost 139,000 there. So literally we needed 539,000, so 540 round figure. So literally we need 540,000 cash in hand to do this project. So like I mentioned in the earlier, the worst case scenario, we can build this ADU in the basement and we can have a third ADU outside in the lot, in the backyard, but the best case scenario if we end up severing the lot because the lot size is 133 and the house is sitting almost in a uh, 70 square feet yeah so like 45 uh, in the beginning and then it end up it's widening. just like a pie shape yeah. and then yeah. and it's like total area square footage is good enough to have a, another residential construction on yes. it only thing is because we have a frontage 44 the requirement is like 60 so the city might ask city will ask for a minor variance and win easement on the property yes so if we can get the easement out and get the severance get the minor variance then we can literally build another single family home oh, another adu another third adu it will be so, identical property right next door yeah. which will actually triple up our cash flow yeah so exactly literally if we end up in the best case scenario right if we execute the best case scenario we will have six units yes in south windsor <laughs> in south windsor in this location having six units it's like insane and of course we are aiming high you know i don't know at this point we don't know we don't know even like you know it, it will be icing on the cake if we can sever the lot yep. no no question but even if we can sever a lot, I mean, still this is a amazing. Still deal. a good deal. It's still that's, a good deal. That's a key. So worst case scenario, if it makes, if the numbers make sense, we'll buy. Yes. So that's what we thought, right? Like so, this strategy was like made me. Oh, that's exactly why we end up paying way more than other people. Literally, even when we were analyzing the deal at that time, the market value was around five hundred. Yeah, but if, if you remember, even when we analyzing it, we just analyzed without the lot next yep. door. We just analyzed the number on this house only because we saw the potential. Yep. And we have 1100 square feet garage, which we can easily turn into uh, another ADU unit. Yeah, yep. Without so even doing much more Instead of, of the work. detached one, exactly. we can do the uh, garage one. And now if we can sour and then yes. do other. So again, thinking, right? That's, the, that's what we, you know, we are getting at. Like we put some thinking into it because what we saw maybe not many people saw it that's why we paid and other people didn't pay the price so again at the end now going back to the renovation cost right so we were projecting around 150 or 60 thousand around 160 160 <laughs> but we ended up almost like 40 thousand more because we had the water issue so yeah. we had to do almost the whole delta membrane throughout the property from outside which cost almost 15 thousand and plus the sunroom we discussed yeah. in the past video like you know ended up we have to spend almost like 10,000 ish there so this unknowns will come up it will and plus like when you purchase an older property these kind of things like you know comes up yeah. and then it's it's nice to have some extra padding when you're budgeting for these kind of projects yeah so. and that's where having a right partner is very important <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, no, it, no both, it makes a yeah. huge difference yeah. actually if you are partnering with somebody i would say like you know that person your partner needs to be on the same yeah. 
level or like you know both needs to have a same goal as yours yeah. otherwise partnership will never work yeah exactly and you know we've started with the same goal right where we want we are doing this project is not for temporary basis yes that was the reason why we navigated yeah we never like in this probably like it's been seven months we were working together probably I don't think we even ever argued about anything. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so. So, because we are like, you know, hey, here's our goal. So if any issue come up, does this issue, if we fix it, does it meet our end goal? Exactly. If it doesn't, we'll not do it. Yeah. If it does, we'll do it. So most of the times, like that was our argument, discussion, not argument. So it made it easy. And second thing is the partner, both of you has to, you know, financially also like be prepared. Stable, yeah. Be prepared. At least, you know, if one partner says, no, 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 the unexpected 20,000 or 40,000 came in, I, I want out. Exactly. Now you guys are in stress. Then uh, you're stuck. Now you have to sell. Exactly. Now you lost. Yep. And, and it's a good thing that on a day one, we both parties knew this is like we are keeping this property for long run it's not a short term yeah so that's why like you know i guess we never had any issue yeah so so that was not an intention to go into the partnership things <laughs> but very important point right yeah so going back like you know the surprise cost was forty thousand ish so now we almost ended up two hundred and five thousand right now so the plan one what we are executing right now is like we are done with one unit main floor and the basement floor so literally we have two legal units the main floor unit we are renting for 2200 and for the lower we are renting for 1800 plus utilities plus utilities of course yes. we are not paying any utilities yeah. so as of now and we are already started the re refinance process yes so again even the refinance process i'm being very conservative because in this location for this lot size garage and everything probably worst case scenario will have a 800000 that's uh, very yeah very conservative number but yeah i mean i wouldn't be surprised if the appraisal comes to 850 or 900000 yeah. because that is the value which is going in this location, this location. Yeah. yeah so even i did our numbers right like at 800000 so income has of now which is projected for main floor and the lower and of course the garage so for garage if we take conservative with 300 350 because it's freaking 1100 11 square feet, square feet. <laughs> so we are almost at 4350 or 4350 to 4500 so at this numbers now because we are already refinancing it 800000 we will be making cash flow around almost 800 to 9000 dollars in in that range after all expenses after all the expenses paid yeah. and uh, we will have like your what 160 120 120 left, left in the deal, deal. so yeah. because we are refinancing at 800000 so now we are taking our down payment our renovation cost most because, of it off yeah. yeah so we spent 139 for down payment 205000 for renovation so we are total all in almost like 142000 yeah whatever, do the round figure numbers there so from that we got most of the we will be getting most of the money out we will be left with 120 in the worst case as of now yeah and that is like not we are not uh, actually take considering the appreciation or yeah. we are not considering considering anything yeah. else at this time that's very conservative number yeah. and it still works and uh, 120 in the deal and then you have like thousand plus yeah. dollar cash flow it's not a bad deal and now we got that money almost like extra 200,000 back and now we're going to build the ADU. Yes, ADU or like we will roll that money into the next project. Next project. Yeah. So literally we can continue to execute our project. And like if we get the ended up the severance, because right now we are working on the severance. Until the severance is sorted out, sorted we won't out. go into the third ADU thing. Yeah. So once that's sorted out, we will go into that one. So to just summarize, right, like if we end up doing executing our worst case scenario without the severance our project will be uh, appraised like all in with adu garage and the basement very conservatively million dollars because you know it's a south windsor the location the renovations that we are putting in with the extra huge house yeah so two houses technically it's like two houses yeah. two adu units so so at that point we will be left with probably around 160,000 in the deal total. Like that's our money in the deal. Rest everything we took out. 
Yeah. So all the renovation money, the, the cash that we put in, all is taken out. We left with 160 and will be cash flowing around almost $2,000. dollars Yeah. So it will be nice cash flow. Nice cash flow. And, and solid property in South Windsor, yep. which uh, we will keep it for like next God knows how many years. Yeah, at least hopefully 15, 20 years. Easily. <laughs> so again, that's where it comes down to what's your strategy, right? Like where you're going towards how much cash access you have to. And you got to take all those things into account to know whether you're buying a good deal or, you know, bad deal. Yeah, I mean, you must go with your worst case scenario don't just like overthink and yeah. then go with the best case scenario because uh, things happen yeah so you need to make sure that you are cash flowing positive not into negative yeah. so and wish us the good luck if we do the severance literally that lot worth more than three hundred thousand. Oh yeah and <laughs> now because we left hundred and sixty thousand in the deal right we have extra cash from the deal. Yeah. If the lot even if we are selling the lot, yeah, we will make tons of money. Yeah, if we don't build, if we just sell. Yeah. Well, I mean, I might. Which we might not. <laughs> yeah, we might do the we'll construction. Do the, love to do the construction, but uh, either way, it's just going to be icing. Yeah, so wish us the good luck. Yep. Um, and if you know someone in the city who can help us with that severance, please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, any final thoughts that you want to share for someone, you know, who is been waiting for a good deal or you know waiting for years i would say just jump in take your uh, first step and then start analyzing the deals and i'm 100 percent certain that there are there are deals out there you just need to know how to run your numbers and how to make it work for you yeah solid advice thank you raman no so worries. that's pretty much it guys uh, let us know did we make a dumb mistakes or what do you think our renovation cost how what do you think about the rents we are getting is this fair or you know what do you think let us know in the comments below and also don't forget to check out the before after renovation tour the challenges tour other videos see you in the next video have a wonderful day bye